All right, we're back on this air conditioning for the Micron test of multiple videos showing you the difference of the patterns of how to read or at least somewhat understand and comprehend how a Micron gauge changes depending on what the conditions of what it's reading between moisture and lack of moisture. And over all my videos, you've seen the difference between using no refrigerant hoses and just using a rubber silicone hose. So here we are, I came back after lunch and of course my gauges went out to save the battery. That killed the signal to my data logging. But as you see here in the data logging, it died after 30 minutes. That's where it locked out. And it was at 132 microns. If you look at the last two videos, you'll see where it started at and how it progressively went down. You can see how it's starting to level out and become very steady and almost a straight line but I just turned on the meter and you can see we're down to 99 microns right now. So let's reestablish our connection. So we'll go back, it'll erase this and uh, go back again, have to reestablish connection. Go back into the micron range, go back into the data logging see the graft has expanded into a very a smaller range so it's actually you can see more fine detail because now we're down into lower numbers and if you get right down there you see 100 microns and you can see how level and even this is compare this to the other videos on other vehicles that were highly moisture contaminated now, the biggest problem is we are also reading the lack of ability of rubber refrigerant hoses not to hold a low vacuum and have moisture contamination within the lining of itself. So when I turn off the vacuum source, this will soar up and it'll, you'll also be reading what is in the rubber hoses that you shouldn't be reading in the first place. But for an introduction, this is the best way to learn at a economy price because you get a good set of gauges you get a micron gauge built inside and this is where you can start curbing your usage before you purchase a individual standalone micron gauge that you can add to the system and valve off and totally valve off and separate your hoses from your reading from your micron gauge that should only be reading the system itself and not the refrigerant hoses so i'm going to turn this off right here and we're gonna let the system decay, but it's not only the system decaying, we're also reading the vacuum hoses decaying. And if you've seen my videos where I used a true clean, brand new dry 30 pound cylinder, you will see the difference between a system that decays with vacuum hoses on it, how much it loses on reading in a micron meter, and with a vacuum micron meter hooked directly to the cylinder, and then turning off the vacuum source, eliminating the hoses and reading just cylinder decay on a clean metal container. It's really important you be able to understand why you fail so many micron decay tests when you don't even understand what you don't even understand. It's one of those situations you don't even know what you don't even know, so you blame the equipment, but it's actually the technician who is, has the problem. All right, so let's, uh, let's kill this vacuum. Did two. Now you can see instantly it's jumping up and it should instantly jump up to about 700 microns usually just because of the hoses. The hoses themselves, I have to stress this so many times, should not be used in part of your micron decay test. But as an introduction to get you into using a micron gauge, this is your best bang for your buck. And as you can see right here, we're starting to slow down in the 500 range. You could see how it jumped up immediately. As soon as I killed that vacuum, it jumped up and you could see it slowly coming over. So I'm gonna go set up, get my scale, my refrigerant and get ready to charge the system. And we'll let this finish decaying and see if I can wait long enough to allow it to decay to come up to a flat line. And we'll see where this system rests. Now remember, we will be measuring rubber refrigerant charging hoses 
that should not ever be included in part of your vacuum decay. That always messes you up. All right, I'll see you back in a few minutes after I get set up and ready to charge the system.